pain. You're probably familiar with hand pain if you knit or crochet or sew or draw, type, text, play video games or write or basically if you do anything with your hands. The limit does not exist. Any activity that requires repetitive motion with your hands is likely to eventually cause some kind of damage. And before I continue, Disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, this is not medical advice. If you are suffering with really bad pain, please go see your doctor and talk to them about what you can do about it. This is just from my point of view, what I have done to deal with hand-related pain that has to do with knitting, crocheting, and other hand uh, uh, repetitive activities. With that said, it doesn't come out of nowhere either. I usually have a deadline or Christmas is coming or I'm really into a project and I push myself farther than I should and that's when I start getting the pain and I'm sure it's similar for you too. Sometimes it's as stupid as I spend the Saturday watching TV and knitting for six hours on straight non-stop. So of course my hands are gonna hurt the next day. If you've been knitting for long enough that Netflix is asking you if you're still there, it's time to take a break. Obviously, it's not fun to have pain. I had to find ways to avoid getting the pain in the first place and also to deal with the pain once it's already there. So I thought I'd share some of my techniques to deal with hand pain. A few things I do to avoid the pain from starting on the first place are pretty common sense. The first one is the one that you don't want to hear and it, it is limiting the time that you are with the activity. As, as much as sometimes I like to spend my entire day doing nothing but knitting, I know that that's not a good thing because even though I will probably be fine for the day or I will start getting pain, it'll get worse and by the time the week is over I won't be able to knit at all because of the pain. I personally found that having a schedule for my time to knit specifically has helped keep the pain at bay because I don't end up doing six hours on straight. Um, so I like to do it at the end of the day, usually a couple of hours while I'm watching TV with my husband after we have dinner. So that makes sure that I'm not gonna go on all night because we're already tired, we're already eaten, we're watching TV, hanging out, and so it's usually one or two hours tops that I get of knitting at the end of the day. And then I try to do a different activity over the weekend. And that goes to my second advice, which is uh, varying the projects or activities that you're doing. So, you know, actually having several work in progress is good because if you have several different projects of different um, difficulties or that use different kind of needles or even having a crochet project and then a knitting project and do a little bit of each every time you sit down and, and work on them will help your hands not do the repetitive motion that's gonna hurt them. The idea is to avoid the same repetitive movement movement over and over for an extended period of time, which is what eventually will cause pain. Number three, and most important of all, probably, stretching. I had a friend told me that if you're gonna go running, you stretch your body before. So why don't you stretch your hands before you go on a knitting mar marathon? And it's so true and we don't think about it, but yes, our hands need to prepare for the extensive work we're gonna do with them. So it's important to, to do some stretches before and after you need, if you can. Here are some of my favorite stretches. Start by stretching out your hands and stretching your fingers as much as you can for a few seconds and then bring them back to a normal position. Pull on each finger in a rotating motion one by one and then do the same on the other hand pulling on each individual finger you can repeat this a couple of times put your hands together in a praying position and stretch it out and then turn them around and do the same upside down stretch your hand out and use your other hand to stretch it even farther by holding your hand on the front. Do the same on the other hand. Shake your hands a couple of times once you're done stretching. Number four, compression gloves. These gloves I got at a pharmacy. 
Um, all they are are these tight globes. They're not too tight that they hurt my hands, but they're they feel tight on my on my fingers and on my hands. I suppose that what they do is that they help with the circulation. Probably, I just know that when I wear them, the pain slowly goes away. Yeah, it's good to try. They're not expensive. Like I said, you can find them usually on pharmacies or online. You gotta make sure that they fit you because they're too tight and they're cutting your circulation. That's really not good. So yeah, they, these have helped me. Wearing these while I'm not kneading has helped me. So it's something to try. I, I wear it through the day and by the time it's kneading time, I'm fine. So when I get pain in my hand, it usually is on this area by my thumb sometimes at the wrist, and sometimes it goes all the way to my elbow, which is not good. <laughs> um, sometimes on the fingers too, but very rarely. It's usually my hand. I guess we all get different pain depending on how you use your hands or how you, you do your knitting. Um, I do get more pain from crocheting. I don't know if it's because I'm holding my, my crochet hooks in a certain way, or maybe I just need more ergonomic hooks but I, I try to be more careful with crochet. I have a few more things that I use that uh, have been helping me. Exercise balls. So these are little rubber balls that I keep by my knitting basket that I got at the pharmacy too. You can use any type of stress ball, something that you can squeeze. Uh, these are nice because they come in like different colors, have different strengths, so this is lighter. And I also like to use them as for massage so if you do something like this with them, it feels nice on your wrist or on your hand. You know, you can do all sorts of exercises with them. Usually they come with instructions so you can do like each finger. But I like them the most just to massage my hands when they're a little bit in pain. The last thing I could recommend to you is CBD in salve form or ointments. This one was gifted to me by a friend. Hi, Max. And it's, it's just like a cooling salve that you put on your hand when the pain is really bad and it does help take the pain away but it's temporary it's just as long as you wear it i try to use it as my last resort when things are really bad but i do try to avoid getting to that point so stretching changing up projects taking breaks uh, using the exercise balls and the compression gloves all happen before i get to the ointment and usually they work I, I especially the stretching it really makes such a difference to prepare your hands for all the work that you're gonna do i really recommend doing that so if you're already in pain right now like i said if it's really bad you should see your doctor um if it's not too bad but it's bad enough that you can't knit or crochet or whatever activity you're doing the best thing i can give as advice is to stop just stop doing the activity for a little bit Nobody likes to hear that. Obviously, I don't want to stop knitting. I don't want to stop doing what I do for fun. But it is your body telling you that you've overworked it and it needs to heal. And doing the activity that makes it hurt is just going to make it worse. So sometimes we have to take breaks. And it's for the better because if you keep doing it, it'll get so bad that you for sure won't be able to do it. And you'll have to go to the hospital or the doctor. And nobody wants to get to that point. You want to be able to keep knitting until we're very, very old, obviously. So just give your hands time to heal. Take those breaks. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to know what do you guys do to keep your hands healthy so that they don't hurt when you're knitting. What stretches do you do? Is there anything else that I didn't include in the video that you do and it helps? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear about it. That if you're watching these and you're dealing with pain, that it goes away very soon. And I recommend watching knitting videos when you can't knit. It's the next best thing, right? Thanks for watching. Take care of your hands and happy knitting. Maybe my hands wouldn't hurt so much if I didn't move them all the time. My hand actually doesn't hurt right now, but this feels nice. You want to take care of your hands. They do so much for you.